The release of one of the world's most anticipated video games will be delayed, and it looks like the global chip shortage could get worse. The war has been devastating for Ukrainians, and the country's thriving tech industry also took a hit. The operations of IT giants such as Microsoft, Apple and Amazon could be disrupted, as these companies rely on the services of nearly 300,000 IT professionals in Ukraine. Soon, all of us might start to feel the crunch, and some Ukrainian developers have decided to fight against the Russian invasion. Uh, it changed everything, you know. I just have to, had to restructure all my job, all the goals. Andrei Lukianov is a graphic designer and marketing expert. He lost his job and fled from Odessa when the war began. Now he's living with his father in a rented apartment in Ismail, near the Romanian border. His mother, sister, wife and baby daughter have fled to Romania. Life just started to become better. And we just bought a new apartment. We were uh, working like for three or four years with my wife, you know, doing nothing about but, but the work. And we just like accomplished it and uh, everything's gone. And my daughter is gonna be four months in three days. So yeah, and now I just have to see them only by video. Andrei Lukianov is one of many Ukrainian IT professionals who are desperately seeking paid work. The company he worked for has restructured into a non-profit organization to support the war effort. It's providing a software tool for the Ukrainian army, which analyzes data from social media and other sources to identify Russian forces. We analyzing open data. Also, we uh, have instruments which analyze photo. We're trying to make it work in the checkpoints, in the military checkpoints for uh, our uh, army to scan people. Maybe it's, you know, like uh, an occupant. Separated from his family, Andrei Lukianov is helping the company find investors. He turned down a salary, which is why he is looking for a pay job as a remote graphic designer. Despite the pandemic, Ukraine's IT industry was booming as its exports rose by 36%, from $5 billion in 2020 to $6.8 billion US dollars in 2021. The number of IT professionals increased from 244,000 to 285,000 employees. Last year, international corporations like Apple, Amazon, Lyft, BlaBlaCar and Solaris Bank opened offices in Ukraine. So we are not uh, identified anymore as a cheap location. We identified uh, like a location with quality resources that are able to do complex tasks, development of artificial intelligence, of blockchain, of uh, Internet of Things. Until the war started, the startup scene in Ukraine was thriving with famous companies like Reface, the app that puts your face on a celebrity, or Grammarly, an AI-based writing engine that checks your spelling, or Ajax, a company for security systems. The consequences of the war are most visible in the gaming industry. Stalker 2, a globally anticipated shooter video game developed in Kiev, was due to be launched in April 2022, but has been delayed. In an online video, developer GSC Game World wrote, the game development shifted to the sideline, but we will definitely continue after the victory. Ukraine's tech industry seems determined to keep business running. We have entered into the hot phase of the war right now, but uh, in fact, the war is going on for eight years. I believe that our companies are quite able to work in a volatile environment and still uh, deliver. In addition, the war might worsen the ongoing global microchip shortage that the COVID-19 pandemic has sparked. Ukraine's two leading suppliers of Neon have had to stop production due to the escalation of Russia's attacks. Ukraine produces about half of the world's supply of the key ingredient for making microchips. Of course, none of these consequences are even remotely comparable to what the Ukrainian people are enduring. Come on, we are like, we try to put some colonists on Mars and now we have a tanks in, in Ukraine. Come on, this is just, I, I, I can't 
figure out this. Uh, this is crazy. Andrei Lukyanov is currently safe, but he could be drafted into the military any day. Until then, he continues his mission to find investors for his company's facial recognition software. They need large-scale server capacities for their open data analysis. Every person should do the, the most effective of what he can possibly do. Now I am much more effective because I help in the field I understand. I have an experience. I think I'm doing my best right now. Some big firms have opted to moving their Ukraine-based tech teams to hubs in nearby Poland and Georgia, hoping to return to Ukraine soon, once the war is over and if the country manages to keep its independence.